played a great first half. I don't know what happened early in the second half, but uh, some turnovers, some miscommunication. And then we just settled in and said, we got time. And we just, possession by possession, <coughs> fought our way back in. And these two guys hit some big shots and some big free throws. Is it, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of weird because it, it looked like it was slipping away from there. And then you were able to sort of just find a way to win the game. And is that a little bit, though, what, what this team is? You know, been about your own two game losing streak. It feels like it's slipping, and, and you find a way to make enough plays to, to win what's a really big game. But you know what? These two guys grabbed everybody. I saw it down the other end when they were on the free throw line. I watched DJ and AP grab the group. They got in a huddle. Whatever they said, Kyle, they did it. It's, it's not Coach Baggett. It's these guys, man. And I'm I'm riding along with them. What'd you say, DJ? Hey, man. You know, first off, I want to thank God, <clears throat> but. In the day, you know, AP carried us, you know. The whole team played good, but, you know, AP always carries on ESPN, you come on, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> but end of the day, um, everybody played good uh, collectively. Um, I need to get better on my defense. I'd be tired out there half of the time, you know. But today, you know, Coach took me out towards the second half, and that worked out. But in the day, it's like, like Coach said, Coach trusts me and trusts AP. Like, he coming to me, he's asking me what play to write. Or he will write something down, I'd be like, I think I like this better, and he just trusts me out there. So. That's, that's the uh, like the love that he got for us and his team. Like, he trusts everybody out there. So, I mean, we came in there collectively and we just said, like, we need to get every rebound, play defense, and just execute. So you like the TV cameras, AP? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what was, yeah. What yeah. was – um, just sort of it seemed like you you got it going early and you were able to sustain that throughout the, the whole game. Was it just one of those nights, you know, where you were kind of feeling it tonight? Yeah, just my teammates finding me, uh, coming down, knocking down shots, uh, having confidence, being ready to shoot. Had these things, or you've had these these peaks and valleys throughout your your course of your season. Um, but are, are you feel like you're you're in a good spot right now? Yeah, and, and right where you want to be. Yeah, I'm definitely in a good spot. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm definitely in a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely. In a good spot. How, how did you get in a good spot? Uh, a lot of reps in the gym, shooting extra shots. Um, yeah, getting in the gym. Can you see the difference? With Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I, I see it. Not only in the morning time is he getting in. You know, even before the game, people don't see the work that these two guys are putting in, and not just these two guys, but the guys. But these guys are putting the work in and, and doing what we need them to do. And when you do that, good things come out of it. You know, I, I've never seen anybody put good work in and not get good results. And I'm just proud of these guys for the work that they put in and the work ethic and what they stand for as our guards. Coach, obviously a huge, huge win. Felt like a playoff game essentially uh, in this one. What was just the atmosphere. Oh, man, yeah, I, I want to thank all of our crowd. I thought KT and all the marketing people with our little cranberry day <laughs> was awesome, fit good too. And, uh, I, I, you know, our, our crowd's been showing up, man. And they, I'm telling you, they were big. They missed some free throws when they were on the free throw line. Our crowd got loud. We made some big shots. And, and they did me a favor. They, they got on the refs, you know, <laughs> at times when I wanted to. And they, you know, they were able to cheer on everything, including the refs. So uh, it was it was an electric atmosphere, and I'm glad we were able to reward them with a win. Mm-hmm. You kind of just mentioned it there, but some of those calls were they, You know what? I would tell you that probably some calls on us that they didn't get either. You know, I'm sure Carmen would say the same. So, again, man, we've had our share of uh, things go against us. So, you know, it's fortunate it went our way. AP, you've been around a while. Is this just a typical Mac battle? Yeah, Tonight, this is a great make better. We are definitely. How tight is this league? Super tight. As you can see, uh, every game is close. Every team is good. Uh, you could lose any night, so you gotta go out there and play your best basketball every night. Trying to get the W. Did it seem like you guys were a little tight to start both halves? Um, is that something you can just clean up? Yeah. Going forward? I mean, we we have to do. I mean, that's like every game. We be up a whole bunch when we come out here. Just, and doing what we were doing in the first half. But in the end, it's execution, you know. But it was just like small things with us, like losing the ball, uh, can't catch the ball. So, I mean, we just sometimes need to calm down and just settle down. Because we had stops towards the end. Like, nobody was scoring in that seven-minute segment. But, you know, we just kept turning the ball over at that time. So, but that's something that, I mean, like Bad said, called the timeout. It's just like, bro, we just need to calm down. You know, and yelling at us and just, Listen, we're not going to do it. You're just kind of lying in wait there at the end. Yeah. You, you, you saw his eyes. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Picked it. <laughs> yeah. I saw him look at it, 
Um, so I felt like I was running when I just came back and stole it. So it was just me. I was just reading the play. Kevin, the, the last play there, I don't I don't know if you drew that up for Zorian to, <laughs> to end up taking it there, but obviously. Yeah, we did. You did? We did. And we then, wanted uh, to ISO him. Actually, my guy right here thought that he would have a good matchup. And uh, so we wanted to ISO him, and he, he, we know one thing he's going to do, he's going to get downhill. He is very good at getting downhill. He did that at Lincoln, and he got downhill and forced some help, and Mervin was on the backside to clean it up and got fouled and made some big free throws. Those, those were huge, man. I know he missed a couple early on, and he struggled a little bit, but again, man, we need him. We need him. And AP, Kyle mentioned a little bit before, Flair for the dramatic big games against both Fairfield and in both games, and then this one here tonight late in the game. What's it just been like throughout this year, Kyle mentioned, with the kind of peaks and valleys sort of thing, where you just are able to turn it on like that in certain games? Is it just a, a groove feeling that you that you find, or is it just something that you continuously try to work on through, throughout um, the year? I mean, I got them up and down games, uh, but I believe in my game that I'm always have an up game. You feel me? So I don't ever think I'm ever down game. Just, that's just a bad shoe would be for me. So I still got the same confidence coming in every game that I'm going to come in and do what I got to do to be productive for my team to win. Kevin, do you start looking at the standings yet? Three games left and where you're at, where you want to be? Uh, let's just say I peeked at it today for the first time. Um, but yeah, now we'll start to pay a little closer attention. But again, man, we just need to handle our business. You know, one game at a time. We talked about it earlier. I, I always ask these guys, are they paying attention? You know, and so uh, we really don't talk about it. You know, but uh, we, we talked about this would be in a big game. This was a, for second place for now, right? Um, this was the first time we talked about it, really. We just go game to game, try not to get ahead of ourselves.